Hi guys, just a wee quick video there I thought I would put up. Um, uh, just for anybody who's doing the same um, engine build and uh, modifications as me. Um, I'm uh, rebuilding my uh, ZRX 1200 engine and I'm using um, ZZR 1200 uh, pistons. Uh, putting them in as an upgrade now. I have them all cleaned up there as you can see and uh, ready to go so um I, it's a 2001 zrx i'm working on here and the uh corn rods you have to replace these corn rod bolts whenever uh you're rebuilding an engine because these are stretch bolts they're a one use only item and um you know uh whenever you're uh you know whenever you're reassembling the engine you uh you tighten these you know you tighten these up to um i think it's 15 newton meters you tighten them up and then you uh and then you, you know you tighten the nut another 120 degrees so you know they're a stressed item anyway and they need to be replaced so Anyway, I I bought new um new bolts for uh this engine. To so say it's a two thousand and one ZRX twelve hundred, and they are the correct part number here. Uh, according to you know you go on to any of the parts diagrams or any of the uh, um, genuine parts um suppliers um. And um, this is the part number that they gave you for it. And this part number that they gave you works for both the uh, the, two, the later ZRX 1200s, like the 2005 one and the ZZR 1200 one at uh, uh, Conrods as well. So I bought these. When they are now, they are they are the correct part number for two thousand and one, which is the start of the twelve hundreds, right through. And I bought these here, this part number. When the bolts come, they are a different shape to the ones that came out. These are the ones that were removed. These are the ones that arrived according to that part number. Now you can see immediately they're a completely different shape. These have got this sort of half moon style, uh, you know, bottom to them, this segment to them. Whereas this is a much more flat, you know, I mean, the, the difference is obvious. So, um, you know, uh, I went to put them in anyway to see. And whenever I... Uh, when to put them in to the to the con rod you can see the recess where they go this just does not this just does not I can can you see that all right this just does not match that at all doesn't match that and furthermore where this is where this goes through and you put them in you know now you can hammer them in but i i don't i don't i don't like to do that i i like to you know i put a little sort of uh, nylon washer on there and i made this brass um uh, tool and then i simply just you know align it and then squeeze it in with the vice until it's fully seated now whenever i done that it wouldn't go home it wouldn't go fully home i tried it on one of them i think it was this one was it this one can you see that we just that we part there that we notch there where it's where it's touching against the uh where it's touching against this part of it here just this part of it here it won't it won't go they won't go in now 
what do we do with that? I mean, I don't want to get into, you know, filing the bolts because then, you know, you're modifying a stressed um, uh, component that goes into the engine. And, uh, you know, and, ob and also when you file the, the, the bolts, you're changing the weight of it, etc. And uh, and I then you know so but as I say the, the 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 puzzling part is they are the correct um the correct part number so I I looked at those bolts and I thought well right um I wonder I wonder are these con rods I mean this is a two thousand and one bike. I wonder are these corn rods from the earlier ZRX eleven hundred? They were only made up until two thousand, the year two thousand, and then from two thousand and one, the bike became a twelve hundred. And I'm wondering, did Kawasaki use the ZRX eleven hundred corn rods in the very first twelve hundred, the two thousand and one? um bikes so i thought uh right i wonder would kawasaki 1100 um uh bolts be the same as these ones here as these ones that i just took out same shape as that so i just i looked at them on the internet and uh they do appear to be the same so i just sent for um i just sent for eight new ones they just arrived there from filers and here they are here they are i've just taken them out of the bag uh they for it they're for an 1100 zrx 1100 and a gpz 1100 so you can see that they are a different part number they are a different part number they are the part number for the zrx 1100 bolts there and if you look i'll just open one up now They are the correct ones. They are exactly the same as the ones I just took out. See that? They are exactly the same as the ones I just took out. That there. Not like that, even though that is listed as the correct number. But I think that is only the correct number for the later bikes and the ZZR uh, 1200 um, uh, corn rods. Because that, let me see. Look. That fits that. That fits that there absolutely perfectly. Do you see that? That fits that recess absolutely perfectly. Unlike that, which doesn't fit it at all. So, um, I'll just show you actually a ZZR 1200 um, uh, crank with con rods. Here's one here. This is a ZZR 1200. Can you see the? Th those are the same as the bolts that I that I got um, previously for my bike. But do you see the way they they fit that better? Do you notice that they fit that properly? 
So those corn rods, those corn rods, I think, are the later ones. Those are, the bolts are designed for those corn rods and not these ones. Because I, even though they were in a 1200, uh, an early 1200 bike, those bolts don't fit. See that? They do not fit. But those ones do. And whenever I squeeze those in, those will not foul on the edge of that. And they'll just squeeze in the way they should. Like, um... You know, I'll not squeeze one in now, but I mean, they'll just squeeze in and they will just go in there properly the way they should. So it's just a wee heads up anybody, for anybody who's um, who's doing uh, uh, an engine build with a 12, with a with a, a 2001 bike and you order the, um, the, uh, the conrod bolts that you know that you that you need um just have a look whenever you split the engine and take the conrods out what shape the heads are on the bolts if they're that shape there then obviously get those bolts but if they're if they're well where are we that shape you'll have to get zrx 1100 bolts for it. and those are those are let me see where's the number those are a different number yep there they are those are those all right guys see you later bye bye